So, stone, raw. Stone, suspend. Put it at one. Actually, I guess two is what we had it at. So I'll see if we get any uh, gnomes today. We should get maybe one or two. Hopefully more. We'll see what happens. Usually after sunrise that we find out. So if we're gonna have any, we'll have any before ten now. So far I didn't have any how many? Zero. God. See, I think we're maxed out for some reason. Not sure what I have to do to get more gnomes here. I mean, there isn't much you can do to make this more expensive. More, uh, valuable besides just platinum... Platinuming the whole floor. <laughs> but even just doing it in silver didn't produce any extra gnomes. I'm gonna check that out real quick. Alright, so it does seem to be a bug that's going on, or some weird thing with the calculations. After you get to a certain worth, uh, it takes so much more worth to generate a few more gnomes that it gets really hard to add more population. That's an ongoing thing that the creator is trying to uh, work out so that's not capping the number of... Like, for instance, I have over half a million worth right now. Now I'm getting zero, so I have to add on probably another half a million to get a few or something like that. That's what's going on. Uh, that might actually be possible, though, because we're going to make some crazy stuff happen here once we get all this platinum lined up. But anyway, let's go ahead and kick that back into gear. 
And we need to go back down. Because now... Finding Platinum has a new uh, urgency to it. Not really urgency, but new uh, reason to do it. The hell? That's weird. Did these ones here, but not these ones. Very odd. Amazon floor, uh, so let's see. What's this? Lead? We can actually use lead, because we're gonna get getting into, like, firearms here pretty soon, I think. Actually, there's more gold down here, too. That looks, I think, so let's go and do that. So I also found out something else, and that is that you can update the game without it breaking your saved games. Um... The new uh, stuff just gets added in, but you can't go backwards, so... Um, what I'm thinking of doing is uh, updating the game to the newest version and seeing uh, how it works with this save. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to figure out how to get over to here so we can get to... that. And actually, it's on 72, not 71. Um, I was trying to figure out which one has the, mm, you yeah, path over to here. Could go the long way around. Looks like we can do it that way and get over to here. So I think this all we'll do, we'll just do this long, huge, complicated thing, but it also allows to get into more of this uh, territory here to dig out um, stuff that we need. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm just going to do huge swaths of it, because I want to train up some of my gnomes' abilities, some of the newer guys. I uh, will do that. Plus I want to make sure we get all the gold that I can. Uh, then we're just going to... We're just going to uh, bring this down. All the way down to here. And from here. All the way down to here. Well, let's take out all these ones here. And then that'll get us to this section here where we can bust out through here. Come over here. And open up this area here. Now I also want to make sure I can get to this section down here where this gold is. Uh, two areas down, so I'm going to mine out that part too. I don't know if I'll be doing uh, the multiplayer walkthrough by the time this uh, gets put up at around uh, Christmas or so with Assassin's Creed, but uh, one thing I found out just to kind of have something to talk about here while we're waiting for stuff to happen is uh, with that is that if you want to level up quickly, stick to headquarters uh, matches because you can get ungodly amounts of experience from those that you can get on Team Deathmatch because of how it works. Um, you have other teams clustered in areas where you can just throw in grenades and stickies, sticker grenades and blow up a bunch of people, and they also have uh, the fact that when you capture a point, it counts as points, which increases your uh, killstreak mirror with... Uh, you know, Team Deathmatch, the only thing that increases your uh, score meter is killing enemies and taking out um, you 
know, enemy equipment, but that uh, extra stuff, miscellaneous point gathering, doesn't amount to very much at all. Whereas the uh, captures and defenses of headquarters um, adds a lot, really. I, I was noticing that yesterday I was playing it, trying to get to 55 so I could prestige and start all over again. I don't think I'm actually going to reset the character now, I'm just going to uh, prestige it, keep all the weapon levels and things. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe not. Because right. when I go through the second time, this is going to be recorded, I'm going to do every weapon up to maximum level 15 and try and get all the uh, stuff for that. But, um, so maybe we'll just reset everything. But, uh, so you get all, I noticed it because last night I was uh, doing a bunch of uh, matches and I got uh, lightning strike ability like four or five times and I haven't gotten it very many times at all and I actually was wondering what the heck was going on and I found out that that's what it was. If you get enough kills defending or attacking a uh, headquarters and you take it and they're part of the, the group that takes it, um, it will give you, uh, it will increase your score, uh, score streaks pretty quickly. <coughs> awesome, another legendary hand axe. <laughs> Let's see who has it. Not that one. Probably the one that just booked off in the other direction. A nettling hammer, that's the first one. Uh, Jassa, maybe? There we go. Stent Stench Swimmer. That's interesting. Stench Swimmer. Worth 1,101. What about four Zins? I think it was in the, had it, the Nettling Hammer. Oh, it's only one. It's worth one less than the Nettling Hammer. So down we go, 72. So how far are they in this? Not that far at all. Well, they've gotten through some of There's some more gold there. It's cool. Sapphires. Or rather, emeralds. Not sapphires. Um, I think they're down... Or up on 71 now. No, I guess they're going back and forth. I don't know what they're doing then. They're somewhere doing something they're not supposed to be doing. That's what I do now. <laughs> hmm. I don't know where the hell they're at. Guess we could go look up one of them here. Uh, minor, minor, minor. Follow. Really? He's one of our soldiers. Well, that just sucks. Need a different miner than Till. Follow. Nope, same issue. I want. Are all my miners being part of this? Part of these things? These are military groups or something? Maybe that's where they're at. They're going mining follow. So he's heading down, or she's heading down. They are heading down. 48, 50. At mock speed. And down to 70. Okay, so yeah. Still working on 71 here. This is one of the newer ones. What the hell? Two things and gone back up or something. I think. Bloody weird. I don't know where the hell they're going. Once we get into, uh... Daytime, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, these guys off here. Actually, got two miners that are up here.
probably two senior miners that'd be able to really get through some of that stuff quickly. Actually, I could do it right now. She already dealt with the, uh... Attackers for the night. They're not going to come back. There aren't going to be any more unless they're down here. Which is still possible, but less likely. Got to keep ahead of that uh, animal braiding thing going on. Don't want to get too overwhelmed with that again. So yeah, some more gold. It's pretty good. 72, and here we go. Somebody's booking it through here. This guy's a legend. Oh, this gnome. Yay for artifacts. Just in case you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about when I talk about artifacts. It's they're on the edges here, you see. That's what's interesting. They only appear on the edges and not just all over the place. Which again leads me to believe that they're driver related not because of hardware. If they're hardware they'd be everywhere, not just on edges. So close. Hundred and four, still are I think still nowhere near Rex's uh, abilities, but quick enough. Someone else gonna pick up for them? Looks like somebody is. Ooh. Oh, Jessica. Oh, what the hell? Must be going out to get food or something. And back down. This is what I mean by, you know, <clears throat> needs being out of so far to reach that they take up a lot of uh, time and make it uh, make your workers less efficient because they have to go all the way up there to grab food and whatnot. But they just have to deal with it. Sounds fast enough that it shouldn't matter uh, that she's thirsty. She'll be able to get most of it done. At least get the stairs before. Uh... Yep. Legendary strawberry wine. See how rich this dirt is down here. Of course, probably won't get to it right away. Got all this other stuff to deal with first. I think the lag's gone, which is interesting. Not sure why. Maybe it stopped raining. So what's going on up here? I've been paying too much attention to uh, the actual stuff going on up here. So this is completely full now, it looks like. They're still filling that up. Up some of the less uh, full ones anyway. What is that pile? 
granite. I think after those next four more of these get brought up. That that whole section is going to be completely full now. And of course, doesn't even account for for any suet stuff down here, for instance. Even just this close down to the surface, tons of stuff here. See, it looks like they're flat full there. So, we need to suspend there, unsuspend here. And off we go again. This will take a bit longer because they have to go even a longer distance to get over there. Which is annoying. One of the new, I was watching, uh, I forgot what his name is, Ninja something, but he does a uh, Nomori walkthrough so as well, uh, Let's Plays as well. He's actually one of the earliest persons to do one. Uh, but he was watching his uh, video for the one of the updates, and they actually changed how these uh, work uh, benches work, and that is that so when you go in there, you can actually set a maximum number of... Uh, or a minimum number, I guess, of items, if you want to look at it either way, maximum or minimum. A certain number of items uh, that you have to, that they will keep in stock, so, <clears throat> for example, if you wanted to have, uh, you know, essentially 60 gears would be 30 here, but 30 uh, gears in stock at all times, uh, you can set it that way and it will not allow that number to, if it goes underneath 30, you'll actually start producing more and then stop. Um, instead of having to just uh, fill up the job queues with tons of this stuff and having to micromanage everything that way. Which is interesting. And the lag is back. I think it's because they're doing all this is probably what it is. That's why it's lagging core. It's the whole putting things down, moving them from where they were. Uh, that whole bit's really intensive. Uh, not intensive, but... Whoa. What the hell? We got a few problems here. Holy crap. I said a bunch of goblins just make a... It's cool we got to see the actual uh, the trashy prop paper. Got to see the... Uh, Traps in action, though. I don't think they did too much damage. That was cool. I see, so they do that uh, on their own. Cool. Whoa. What the 
hell they're everywhere. I still do attack it. Let's get your axes together. That's what that blood's from. That's from uh, some goblins. And our fact, yes, it is. That's crazy. That's kind of all friggin' literally just piled through this whole area there. Of course, it tripped the traps. Which helped a little bit. Did some initial damage. Let them continue with all that. I'm going to head back down to uh, 73 and see what we've dug up so far, if anything. Oh, there we go. Wow. There's quite a bit down there. So let's go ahead and dig a little out, let out a little bit further here and see if we can find anything else. Maybe some back this way too. Of course we'll cancel those. There's some gold over here. Of course we can get to that through making a uh Stairs over here. Let's put that right there, and I'll be able to get to it from there. So much platinum ore do we have now? I just want to go items, goods, metal ore. 153 platinum ore, so that's 15 statues worth ore, enough to maybe change out that whole entire floor over there. There in the uh, dining hall. I'm not really sure how many tiles that is. That'd be an interesting thing to figure out. Let's see. Up and over and down and where the hell are we at? We need to find our mountain. Here we are, way over here. Alright, so down to here and let's just go uh, mine or something. Well, let's do the interior. Okay, so that's right, yeah. It's, it's showing as if it's the bottom down here on those ones. So, 11 by 17. Uh, I can't. That's, that's going to be something like.